welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? I hope you've been safe and everyone is well and everyone's cracking on with what we've got to do. Now that said, we are now out in the Audi TT that I've bought, Mark 1, the TT. The TT. So yeah, I'm going to run through here today why I bought the car, what the car has got all around and a quick run through on the reveal video. Quick apology that I didn't do a video last week. It was my lad's birthday, so kind of give it a quit. It's his weekend, so yeah, fair play. Um, so we're going to run through it today. We'll do a little bit of road driving, and then I think next time I think we should go through all the maps and stuff. So hold tight. Going to get parked up. Let's go through why I bought an Audi Mark One CT. Peace out. about of anything I do believe we're in map one could be wrong but it should be the one boosting the most um, so yeah I really like it, it feels really planted um, my first quattro car I've always wanted a quattro at some point just to see what the fuss is all about I've got one I mean I've had it what a week and a half and just the pull from down low and it seems to just keep going, a bit like the Astrid just keeps going all the way. It's not messing about this car, honest to God. It's a proper, fully track focused, mapped, ready to go, out of the box. Do what you want, let's do it now, let's do it quick. So yeah, I'm gonna pull up now, because that's what I was gonna do. Let's go through the mods, boys. Peace out. Woo! Honestly, boys, I'm not even gonna lie best car I've owned I know but best car I've owned not even going to bullshit it yeah I understand I've just bought it and the sun shines out of its ass. and if it broke down now I'd be like that's amazing look what my car does but no the setup on this car there's a few things that need to be sorted out and tweaked I understand that I knew that when I bought the car I'm happy for that I just didn't want to have to go into the engine bay and start ripping things out and changing things. I've done that with the Astro for the last six, seven months. I've had enough of it. I'm not here to build engines with you boys. I'm not here to be in a garage looking up at my car from underneath with a camera going, there's where it's fucked, there's where it's fucked, there's where it's fucked. I'm not into it. So this car, aesthetically, needs a few little bits and pieces sorting out. Other than that, she's ready to do whatever we want to do. We can go track, we can go motorway, we can go B-roll bashing, we can do whatever we want, and then we can make it look good during the process. So it is gonna be a bit of a talking video, this one. I'm not gonna, you know, go smashing it, it's absolutely pissing it down. Quattro or no, but still, give it a few, you know, we'll give it a bit. And we'll, we'll show you what she sounds and feels like. Watch, we'll, you'll watch me how I think she feels like. And then we'll, we'll go from there, really, lads. Um, so, yeah, check this out. La Folder. We're doing this in one take, by the way. No messing about. This is everything that it's had. Everything. And I'm talking everything. There's not much in here. I mean, there's things dating back. What's the date on this one? Let's have a look. Can't find a date. Would never be there. I know. I'm not wasting your time, boys. Here we go. Ah, uh, it's only 2019. But, it's all the clutch. Clutch fucking, I don't know, clutch summit. The oil, my oil filter would be man, man like. Everything is in here, it's just, there's nothing that isn't in here. And what I'm trying to get to, where's that, what, when's that from? Where's this from? 2017. When's this from? 2009, lads, I'm not even joking. I don't know if you can see that. 2009. It's got the history. 
it's got the history Haldex oil, Haldex oil filter, fluid dot, brake fluid dot 4, uh, AFR long red life antifreeze, that's a bit of antifreeze, not getting buzzing. Um, there's just loads, there's loads that's been done. That's the instruments being done because the on these are known for the the clusters to go and start fading out and start showing your lines and stuff. No, all done, all been done. So it's just everything. So what I'll do is I'm gonna flick for, flick forward now to the bit that is the most important for me, and it's what it's got in it, what the mods are, what's had done, what it's had done to it, and where we stand now. Bang for buck, boys. I'm not being funny. I mean, look at the fucking history of this, mate. It's disgusting. It's good, but it's disgusting. What is that about? Why is he an Audi A3 there? <laughs> right. Find me. Find me. Let me come back to you because I, I wanted to do it in one take. I can't find the mods list in two seconds. Oh. Right, lads. I can't find it in there. It's in there. It's in one of the many folders. Sat somewhere. So I'll have to just revert to what was said to me. I think it's basically the picture of that, what the guy put on when he was selling it, of what we have involved in the car. So let's have a look. Let's go and have a look. Let's have a noser. What have we got? <laughs> Here we go. So, when I seen this car, it was a Cat C back in 2017. Now it's all been repaired, it's all been fixed, mechanically sound. It was basically near passenger side wing and bumper. That was it. And they wrote the car off for that. Absolutely nothing. Joke of a fucking job. So, here is what the modifications are of the car. We have forged bottom end rebuild with king race bearings, end form piston ring set, cost with head gasket, Deco, we are now, Deco timing belt but with a Volkswagen water pump. We have a JNL ported China fold manifold. So we have a ported China fold manifold. We have a 3 inch Scorpion exhaust full system. We have 40mm lowering springs and don't I know it. We have uprated dampers, not sure what they're uprated to. Power flex dog bone mounts, we have polybushed front arms, we have MTEC front and rear brake discs with Brembo HP 2000 pads, bringing the source. We have a large front mount intercooler, seen one of them before. Custom black charge pipe, oversized red silicon intake pipes, a Honda S2000, bringing it Jap, cone air filter, we have the oil catch can which is the workaround for these. We have the Vag six speed short shifter kit, you know that. We have 20 mil rear spaces on the on the back and 15 millimeter on the front. Both the rock, rock, rocker cover and throttle body being painted. Well, it says stage two remap, approximately 300 brake with launch control, no lift shift, five maps. We have the Alcantara steering wheel with the in-dash digital boost gauge and we're on, we're on V power, which is 99 rated fuel, any tuned car really you want to run it on the higher octane fuel. We're lucky we get 99 in this country, so we use it. It was a it was a regular at Brands Hatch this car and has been to the Nürburgring. I've shown you pictures in the reveal video of it being at the said tracks. So this is what drew me into it. Because the outside little bit saving there, we've got a little bit of lack appeal on the back bumper. We have a the a little bit of minor damage on the left hand side wheel arch just needs our replacing or filling and painting um, and other than that we just need to clean the headlights and we're done for making it look stock-ish but lowered um, so from there I'm thinking that's it I don't have to jump in a car start messing about with it upgrading everything again starting from the beginning it's not really what I made this channel for I made this channel just for the fun of filming what we get up to in cars and what we like to do going out for drives and stuff and car meets I'm not in it to make six million dollars and five hundred thousand subscribers I mean I'd love that to happen I think I've said it before but I'm not in it for that if that comes great but I'm not it's not an aim of mine my aim is just to show you boys what we get up to and go for a cruise and meet up with you lot and have a laugh and show each other our cars our builds or bought builds you know um so yeah I'm not you know I'm not fussed just doing it for the fun boys I'm just doing it for the fun 
and bringing you lot with me. So I reckon we should go out for a quick drive. We'll just check what map we're in now. Let's have a look what map we're in. Foot on the brake, accelerator. We are in. So it was in map one, we're now in map two. Let's turn that down a bit. Windows are getting a bit steamed up, boys. So we're in map two. Map three. So again, when we go foot and it just flashes the EML light. How many times, which map, quite obvious. Map four. Can't do it while you're rolling, obviously, for obvious reasons. And we're in map five. So, <laughs> over the coming weeks, I want to film different map stages with you. We'll drop it down in each video. Map five, four, three, two, one. We'll do some launches because I've launched it once and oh my god, it's going to take a bit of getting used to, but it felt amazing. The car probably didn't love it, but it felt amazing. It really set up to launch, I'm not even going to kid you. And don't start coming at me with RSQ3 launch times and all that shit. This car is set up to launch. I'm not going to be beating them boys, we're, you know, we're in a TT from 2000 and bloody 2. But we'll give it our best shot, I'm not shy, and I'll give it a go. I'll give it a try any day of the week, I don't mind. Don't mind getting beat. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to go out onto the roads, clean these windows up a little bit, and let's go and have a listen to her. Let's see what she sounds like in map five. Let's go. Safety first, boys. Seatbelt on. Let's go. So as I say, we're in map five. Just noticed as well in the, in the in the pack it came with when it's had its uh, alignment done. I would imagine for track because it says a little note at the bottom of the of the letter something like just to be aware this will cause tyre wear uh, and instability problems or something, which basically means it's not set up for road. Which you can really you can really tell that when you're driving it. I mean from setting off, say you're pulling out of a car parking space, you want to go right. You can just feel it wanting to drag because the camera's set up that much until you start putting it into a corner is where you get the full contact of the tyre to the road. At low speed it's no good at all. So I'm just going to come off this little trading estate in the locals and we'll go for a quick trip boys. I mean, it says it has them saucy brakes, the HP 2000 and some fucking whatever they are. But they are starting to squeak a little bit, and I'm not sure if I'm going to need to change them shortly. I need to actually have a, have a check of them, see what sort of nick they're in. But I do love the sound that S2000 comb filter really comes through nice at the top of the range when you're changing gear. It's either that mixed with a blow-off valve just seems to sit perfectly together. I wonder if we can get a sound bite of that. Bottles. Well, not yet. We need to get on a stray. I've got a car in front of me. So, what it comes with as well and what I need to learn is the dash cam, it comes with a dash cam so, and it's motion sensor, the lock, if you walk in front of my car bubble, you're on it so, it's really good, it seems like a really good quality one with Wi-Fi downloadable I mean, I've never had a dash cam boys so I've always just never had one but I've got to download an app or something from iStore and then I'll be able to download it and I can show you forward facing as you're talking to me at the same time. This is the kind of the videos I like. See the person, the reactions of how they're sitting, how they're driving, and the actual road that they're on. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I need to go through each individual map and 
check how much boost we're running. So we'll come up to a nice part of Mexico here, you dip in Mexico and then you come back out into England at the correct speed. So we've got, let's just turn that down a little bit here. We've got the ignition on. And then we're just gonna hold, I don't know if you can see that there. It's a bit too dark. I'm just gonna brake pedal, accelerator, bump, bump, bump. Push them both together, we'll get a flash number. One. Oh yeah, we've gone back to map one, so it goes map five, one, two, three, four, five, back to one. So obviously, let's go again. Map two. I'm gonna go again. One, two, three. And I'm gonna do map four this time. One. Two, three, four. So there we go, back at map four. Let's get it. So have you just seen, put it in map four. And just had a squad car go past. So we need to back up a little bit. Definitely give them some room, as much as you can. Surprise a few people this, I'm not gonna lie. And that's in a straight line, we're built for corners. This is gonna be an absolute track animal. No words for it. An absolute track animal. It's gonna be naughty this car. Absolutely naughty. So this is map four. I mean, I'm 
still learning as I'm driving this car. So I'm basically learning this car with you now as we speak. Like I've never done Quattro before. Jumping into all the five different maps. That's trap build. Listen to this. Stopped off at the old Asda there, boys. This is gonna hurt. Always oh, done it on this one. Oh, they got away with it. Stop it. You usually get a splitter bash there. And that's the thing now. Me sat in it and it's lowered anyway. <whistles> We're on the floor. So we've shown you today, boys. Map five, map four. Quick walk around of the car. Not walk around. A quick talk of the what you know what it's got under its hood, what I bought it for, the reasons why I bought it. And uh, yeah, I think I'll start that again, because that was shit. Yes, boys. So I've just had to run, run in Asda, because as you know, use this trip as an essential trip as well while I'm out filming. Do what I've got to do for the house while I'm out. That way, one journey, everything's covered. So, gone through with you today, boys. Map five, map four, the mods list pretty much why I bought it because I wanted something performance wise that was pretty much as good as what I had with the Astro and it, I feel like it it kind of is in many ways it is and it feels a lot more sturdy as I say I do think this is like going to be one of the best cars I've ever owned to be honest with you hopefully so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure you do catch up with me for the three, two, one map testing that i'm going to do with you and we'll do the launch as well just to cover all the bases of what we've got to offer here so let me know what you think of this video down in the comments section and if you've not subscribed to the channel make sure you do subscribe to the channel plenty more content to come so stay safe and i'll catch up with you in the next one massive respect peace out